Greetings friends, the purpose of this vidcast is to show you how to calculate the average and standard deviation for a set of two values, um, how to create a graph of your results, and then how to interpret the standard deviation error bars. So what I have is a practice page set up right now. Here's my type A, uh, for example it could be cookies or one set of variables, and here's another set right here. I have a small chart off the side. To put the average from type A, I'm going to click inside the cell. And I'm going to put equals average. It should uh, fill in automatically. And then I'm going to highlight the set of values I want it to average. Enter. I'm going to do the same thing for this chart right here, this uh, cell right here. And I'm going to highlight these values. Done. There's the average for those two. Uh, for this second set, it's got three decimal places. So I'm going to go back just to make them equal two decimal places for each. Uh, that's more than enough significant figures considering here I, everything is in the ones column. For the standard deviation over here to calculate that I'm going to click inside the cell and I want to equal for the standard deviation STDEV is the abbreviation I'm looking for. It's asking me which values I want to use so that would be this for type A. For down here I want standard deviation or this set of values right here. All right, now I want to graph it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this information, and this is the graph I want to use. I'm going to create a bar graph, column graph. So I want to click it, it should automatically pop up. Got my averages here. Uh, I want to use, uh, I'm going to switch the rows and columns. So I've got type A here and type B here. That looks good. I'm going to customize it quickly before I finish the completion of the graph. Uh, I'm going to call it the uh, type A versus type B. Um, here we can set all our values here for the legend. The legend can be on the right. I can move it to the other side, uh, above, below, uh, different types of uh, specific features like the mode, how, how I want the graph to actually look like. Uh, horizontal titles. Uh, I'll let you play with this. I do want the. Uh, I'm gonna look at the um, series. I want to look at type A, and I'm going to include. I'm going to move this down a little bit. You can see the standard deviation values are different for each set. So I'm going to go with the uh, type A first, and I want error bars, but I want them to be a constant value. And I want them specifically to be this amount here, 0.7. So I'm going to highlight that and insert those. Okay, I'm going to go back here. I didn't get a chance to finish it before I press enter accidentally, but I'm going to um, advance edit again. I want to look at the other column, type B. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to click here, control C. I want error bars, I want the constant value, and I want it to be like this, whatever the value is there. I'm going to update it. There we go. All right. So now that I have my graph completely finished, um, if I blow it up, I can play with the axis titles. I'd like this to go from zero to a maximum. Um, eight seems reasonable, a reasonable value. And notice that the averages are different, but the standard deviation, particularly in type B, is rather extensive. So because the error bars overlap, I can say that statistically speaking, using the standard deviation, there is no statistical difference between the groups. Again, there is a difference in the averages, but because this group is so varied, there isn't a statistical difference between the two groups. Thank you, and I hope this helps.